So just to prevent any confusion, this one is from last week. I'm about to do this week's right after, so don't freak out. Everything is fine. Hello YouTubers, this is the Nubifier. On the 16th of November 2023, CIG released Inside Star Citizen Gatax Back, a glorified commercial for some concept ships. Here's what you need to know. The concept for the Raylan had many drawings, so when the team was looking for a new ship, they began there with the concepts. The triangular Raylan concept became the Sulin. Gatak's first civilian ship. This is an important starter ship with a bed, a living space, and other great assets. Landed, it stands vertically like a rocket ready to take off. Push a button on the fuselage, the fuselage completely folds out and hovers into a levitating staircase. The first floor, for lack of a better term, the airlock area, has walls that can be opened to access components. There's a lift, and you lift up. There's a limited habitation area with accent lights all over. There's a poop sink and a normal poop toilet. They explained about it. It has to do with alien pooping. It's all very weird. Everything retracts. Taking another lift puts you up on the flight deck with a levitating seat. And when you ask to be placed into flight mode, the seat levitates and all kinds of stuff, you know, attaches itself to it. It's all very pretty. You basically have to see it to fully understand it because it flies 90 degrees from standard and as I said, lands and launches like a rocket on a pad. 24 maneuvering thrusters is like a record for a ship of this size and everything articulates. They said it's not a bare starter, but more what the community would call a tier 2 starter. They then switched over to another ship, the Spirit. John said it has 32 SCU or a vehicle or two. Like the C2, it's hollow and cavernous. They used the lines of other Crusader ships such as the MSR and the Starlifter. The weapons are retractable to keep the lines clean. The tractor turret can relocate from the top to the interior for loading. They demoed the Tumbrel Storm. They said that this concept was accurate, which meant that the Storm is pretty much exactly what they presented years ago. It has speed over armor. It's low but dead. Badly. The driver's seat is pretty much a mouth that opens on the front and you get pulled in as if you're being eaten. Uh, it's low and wide, so it won't fit into every ship, but John did say that the Carrick is perfect for moving it around. That's it. Thank you very much for spending your time with me. Fly safe and I'll see you in the verse.